Welcome back everyone to the Common Sense Crypto channel and as always this is Rich here talking today about XRP. Now we're going to talk a little bit about XRP news but this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be helping people not get wrecked as a new investor in any crypto but mostly how I got wrecked in XRP early on. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So picture this it's 2020 and i just started investing in xrp i thought it was one of the greatest cryptos out there i like ripple i like everything about xrp i think it's going to be one of the greatest coins of 2022 in the bull run i think it's going to get the most gains out of almost every coin it's it always does it moves so fast and here I am putting money into it and it started out great everything was looking good and then this happened I started seeing a downtrend and I'm like oh you know should I sell now and buy back later and I made these choices a bunch of times and I forgot about crypto volatility how fast it could move up and down you know so quick so I started selling what should have been starting lows, but then they became starting highs. And they, it, so the price would move up a little bit and I'd end up selling, you know, right before it started moving up. And then I'd panic and buy back in. So in other words, what I'm doing is selling on the high and then buying back in on a new high thinking because I didn't know too much about XRP I didn't know too much about crypto in general and I should have never even touched it I should have bought it and left it alone and I've done this multiple times back then thinking I was doing the right thing and I never thought about volatility and how fast this crypto market can move in both directions whether it moves up it moves really fast it moves down it could move really fast I mean, in a matter of a couple of hours, you could watch a coin literally lose 20% of its value. And then, you know, two hours later, it's right back up to where it was before that even happened. So early on, I made a lot of mistakes and I lost about roughly between five and 10,000 XRP on sell-offs. Doing sells and then buying back and then, you know, I'd sell and everything looked great and all I had to do was just stay out of the market for you know maybe two three hours but then I'd see this little green candle form and I'd be like oh this is it I got to get back in quick before I can't get back in and I'd end up taking losses so what caused that crypto fear fear of missing out mostly you know I'd FOMO back in and even when the market was in an extreme fear, I'm FOMO FOMOing in on a green candle that's already moving up. Then it would peak out and then start dropping. I'd be like, oh, great. I, brought, I bought in here and now we're down here. So as a new investor, any new investor, the thing is this, okay? The bulk of new investors lost money in crypto. And they always talk about Bitcoin in this. In my case, it was XRP. I thought, okay, I'm going to short this thing. And I thought that a bunch of times. And a lot of new investors think that they can short everything. Because they hear stories and they go and they watch videos online how somebody, you know, shorted a coin and made a ton of money. Or they bought, you know, at a new low and they gained a whole bunch of coin. You know, so what I'm going to tell the new investor so you this doesn't happen to you is just have this patience. Patience, no matter what you're investing in, is one of the most important things you can have. We're all born with patience. We just got to act upon patience. In other words, if you see the market, you know, moving up and down, don't look at it. If you don't have patience in this, you're going to do a lot of stupid things. You're going to start selling off thinking, I, I'm going to buy back later. And that's not going to happen because eventually, like now, for instance, the market, it, I thought the bottom was in. It, it apparently wasn't quite in yet. 
But, I mean, we didn't really drop too far down this time. I mean, we hit 39.08, and now we're back up to almost 41 cents again. We touched 41 cents earlier today. But, see, what would happen with me is this idea. I would end up selling here, right? And then I'd see this green candle and hurry up and buy back in, and then this would happen. And as a new investor, that happened to me a bunch of times, and I ended up getting wrecked. And wrecked in crypto means you utterly get ruined and destroyed due to losses, okay? So I would buy, say, 3,000 XRP, and I would play around with it, and I would end up losing it. Early on, I learned a lot of patience since then. Now, I just leave it sit there, and I'm waiting for the bull run to happen, and I'll cash out somewhere up around 8 to $10, and I'll take my profits then. And then if it goes higher, I'll take a little bit more profit, but there's no more trying to short it. I just don't feel comfortable enough right now to try to even short it yet. Um, and I've been in crypto now just about two years, and I still don't think, I'm confident enough to do it because of the losses I took in the past. So, another thing that caused me to do this is, and a lot of things that keep new investors out of crypto is this. A lot of people will tell you crypto's a fad, it's going to fade away. That's not true. We all know that. Crypto's pretty much here to stay. It's going to become the digital currency of the future. It's tied to the metaverse. It's tied to a lot of things. A lot of banks are starting to usher it into their, you know, system. And the worst one was always, oh, you know, you're buying into a coin that isn't even real because you can't hold it in your hand. Again, not true. So as you're investing, don't listen to people. And that's going to be one of the biggest things I could tell you. Because at the end of the day, when you have a million dollar vision and you don't want to surround yourself with people with one cent minds. And that's true. I mean, a lot of people, oh, I would never invest in the crypto. I would, you know, I'd sooner put my money in the stock market. But listen, we, we're here to make money. Real money. Money that's going to go into your bank. And you'll be the one laughing in the end. So... I always go back to this from Gandhi. First, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they will fight you. And then you win. Because people will always try to talk you out of something that is good. You know your investments are good. You said to yourself, hey, I bought, you know, Ripple today. And the price is, you know, going to go much higher than it is. And you know that. It was a solid investment, but people around you will always tell you, oh, you know, cryptocurrency is going to fade away soon. It's not going to be around forever. You know, don't listen to it. Just surround yourself with people like you that are into crypto. Talk to them. And the best thing I could tell you is just huddle on. Have patience, huddle on, wait for the bull run to happen. And then cash out and take some profit. Because that's the best thing you can do. Especially as a new investor. So with that said, I'm going to wrap this video up. Like I said, it was just a quick video. It was more pointed towards new investors. People that might be discouraged in the market. With the current prices. Things like that. I want to keep you optimistic. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you everyone. Have a great night.